Welcome back. This is Ozzy. Today in EverQuest Next Landmark Alpha, we're going to go over the cut and paste tool. So I'm going to make a little spiral staircase here. I threw a couple of pieces out just to get it started. We're going to use the select tool and we're going to grab a step and we're going to press Control C. Now that puts it in my buffer. I'm then going to slide back here so that I can get a good view of it because as I mentioned, pressing Control V, it's going to go where I put my mouse cursor. So I want to make sure that my mouse cursor is, that I'm positioned such that I can see about how, how to line it up without having to move myself and my mouse. So I don't need to go up and down. I need to go forward, it looks like, two. Again, not moving my mouse, just using the mouse wheel and the handles. Click to commit. Since I still have the selection, I'm going to slide up one and then slide forward one and click to commit. So that's cutting and pasting little stuff. Let's step it up. There's a wonderful little bug. I'm going to grab my landing and my step and hit control C. And I'm going to slide over here again where I can get a good position to see about where it needs to be and hit control V and I've got the whole thing. Now I need to rotate it to get it correct. And now I need to get about, yeah, I need to go up. There we go. Let's go here. And then I've got to use these tools. Let's get it off the rock and then let's slide it all the way back to there. That looks perfect to me. Commit. Very nice. And since I have it in the buffer, let's slide around and let's rotate it. And then get into a position where I can see. Again, you'll notice it has jumped up here to where my mouse is. That kind of helps. And I will slide it over. That actually looks perfect on the first try. It is. And now I want to do a landing because I don't have a landing to match this one. So I'm going to grab my, oops, not the tool. And of course I've lost the tool. I wish I could, I wish I could, really wish I could lock my tray. So I'm going to grab this landing. Control C, Control V, and I'm going to put my landing up here. And that looks like it's on top of that guy. A lot of cut and paste is, is trial and error. But this looks to be about right. My landing's bigger on the bottom. So, let me real quick trim that off. I will select it. Now I could hit the delete tool or I can just press the delete button. So we have now trimmed this off. Now this is the first lap. I'm now going to try and grab the entire staircase, all of it. I need to stretch the selection to cover the entire staircase. Top to bottom. That is too tall. Let's come down. I'm lined up there. I'm lined up there and I'm lined up there. Now, I have it copied. I'm sorry, I have it selected. I'm going to show another piece real quick called templating. I'm going to come over here. To my template. Now, these are still kind of buggy. I use the heck out of them, but I see a lot of people having issues with them. I'm going to create a new template and I'm going to call this Spiral Stair. And I will hit OK. Now, I did not copy this, so I will go Selection, Expand, Spiral Stair, Place. I now have my selection 
on my clipboard. You can do the same thing with, with control C and control V, but if it's something big and complex, you really want to try to have it as, as a template simply because you want to be able to pull it up quickly. I think we're going to luck out. It actually looks like this is going to line up perfectly on the first try. I will click commit and look at that. Whoops. And of course you get to see how horrible I am at stairs. But we swing around. I'm not going to get lucky on the next one. Let's try. It's still in the clipboard, so I hit control V. Oh wow. It's still there. So I will do that. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm entirely too lucky. But you get the idea. And actually, the reason it's that way is because I'm coming at it consistently from the same position each time. If I turned around and came at it from a different position, it went away. All right. It has vanished off of my clipboard, but that's okay. I still have it here on my template. So I apparently, oh, I'm at the top of my claim. That is why it's doing that. If I turn my game settings on and turn view my claim, this is why. I'm standing at the top of my claim, so that's why it's failing. But you get the idea here. We have a really nice staircase. Well, I don't know if I'd call it really nice. But that's how you use the cut and paste tool. Please remember that the key elements are the, the, the selection is going to go where you have your mouse. So find a spot, stand still, position your mouse, and then use the handles that Sony gives instead of trying to shift around and then trying to figure out why your selection's running all over the place. Hope this is helpful. We'll come back next, next time and I'll look at the paint and smoothing tools. Thanks for watching.